welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the problem work smarter not harder by courtship so the problem states that tortoise and hare decide to run a race yet again this time around however the hare has gone a bit smarter so the race track is a straight line l meters long tortoise moves at v1 meters per second while hare moves at v2 meters per second it is known that v1 is less than v2 that is hair is strictly faster the hair still wants to be a bit lazy so it decides to give tortoise a head start the hair will wait for an integer number of seconds before starting to run unfortunately the animal's measuring device aren't up to par they can only measure in integer seconds and will round up so if hair is taking 1.57 seconds to finish the reported time will be 2 seconds if it takes 3 seconds the reported time will be 3 seconds itself and if it it is 3.01 then it will take 4 seconds so we need to calculate what's the longest time the hair can wait while still being able to run the race note that to win the race the hair's reported time must be strictly less than the tortoise if the hair cannot win no matter what we need to print minus 1 and if it is not possible then what we will do we will be minus one so let's get started with it first we have our input as t number of test cases and l v1 v2 as length of track speed of tortoise and speed of air now if you see in this example we have 10 2 3 so 2 is the what speed and we are given length so actually we can calculate the time so when calculating the time total length is 10 and you know speed is distance divided by time so what is time here time will be simply distance divided by speed so we have distance is 10 and speed of tortoise is 2 so it will be 10 by 2 which comes out to be 5 so the time for tortoise is 5 seconds now when you calculate the time for the hair it would be 10 by 3 so when you take time for here it is 10 by 3 which is around 3.333 and when it is rounded off it is rounded off to 4 in this case now you have 5 seconds where the tortoise can reach and 4 seconds where the hair can reach now they are measured in integer values all the values are integer values hence only one second is left between them and the hair wants to be strictly greater so the hair cannot wait at all before the starting hence it outputs zero in this case now taking a case where it is not possible at all so it is 14 5 and 6 now if you see 14 divided by 5 so our 14 divided by 5 gives what 5 2s are 10 and 5 8s are 40 so 2.8 rounded up to 3 and 14 by 6 14 by 6 is 6 to 12 6 3 18 so it becomes 3 so these both quantities become equal when they are equal there is no case that the hair can win and hence minus 1 is printed so let's look at the code to understand how to approach it so first of all we need to understand that we are just taking 3.3324 means we are rounding off to the next number 
so what we are taking seal so actually we are taking seal of the time and how time is calculated time is calculated by as i said you distance by speed so our distance is l and speed is v1 so this is of tortoise so let it be t and for here it will be seal of l by v2 so you have got both the values now what will be our total time which can be elapsed in between it will be t minus h minus 1 why minus 1 because if suppose i have time of 5 for tortoise and 3 for hare then what time is left between them it is 5 minus 3 which is 2 but they the hare should be strictly greater than tortoise hence only one will be left here so that the tortoise can be 5 and hare can be 3 plus 1 which is 4 so that's why we are putting minus 1 or you can also write it as like this to understand better now after doing this what you need to check now if my t is if i do t minus h and it comes out to be a negative number or equal to 1 so if it comes a negative number or equal to 1 uh, sorry equal to 0 then it easily indicates that there is no gap between t and h hence we would be printing minus 1 so when t minus h is less than equal to 0 we would be printing minus 1 in this case and this would be our answer so i hope you all understand this solution and you can see that it gives us the correct answer so thanks for watching